Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So today video is on Blazor WebAssembly .NET 7 API as a backend and using Mudblazor UI components we are completely create a sample application. Okay, the main the main goal of this video is to create a sample table and then to create a Blazor WebAssembly application and then to integrate the Mudblazor UI library. So let me show you the application which we are going to create in this series. Okay, so this is a sample application which we are going to create. And here, if you observe, the entire UI is developed in Blazor WebAssembly. Okay, and the components, UI components are taken from the Mudblazor library. Okay, and for backend, API response is created by .NET 7 Web API. And in this entire demo, we can render the data, we can create the data, okay? And we can edit, okay? Delete, okay? And we can do sorting, okay? And we can search data, okay? And we can do pagination also, okay? Complete CRUD sample we are going to implement. Okay, now first let's create the SQL table. So here I am creating a table like superheroes, which contains columns like ID, name, franchise, gender, and image URL. So very simple table. So let's create this table under your required database, okay? So I have successfully executed the command. And if I go to my database, okay, here is my table. So creating table is done. Now let's create a .NET 7 Blazor WebAssembly application. To create any .NET 7 application, we need Visual Studio 2022. Click on create new project. And here I can select Blazor templates. So Blazor generally contains Blazor server app and Blazor WebAssembly app. Okay. Server means which runs at the server with the help of SignalR. And Blazor WebAssembly is a client side. Both are client single page application. Okay. So Blazor WebAssembly is like a C sharp code which runs inside of the browser just like JavaScript code. Okay, so we are going to create the Blazor WebAssembly template. Select it, click on next. Okay, now let me specify the name of my project. Okay, I will first creating the Blazor WebAssembly and let me change the solution name like .NET 7 Blazor Vasm and the project name is .NET 7 Blazor Vasm dot UI. Okay, click on next. Here you can see you can select the required framework. So I am using .NET 7 O. Okay, and let's click on create. So here is our Blazor WebAssembly application. So let's run it. Okay, this is the sample design we will get when we run our application. So it is totally all up on bootstrap UI. So we are going to remove the bootstrap and we are going to use the Mudblazor UI library. Okay, go to dependencies and right click on package. Go to manage NuGet packages. Okay, in the browser, search for Mudblazor. Okay, so this is the package we have to install. 
So click on install. Accept. It is installed successfully and we can check in the packages here. Okay, Mudblazer is added. Now we need to do some initial configurations. Okay. Save. Now in the imports, let me add Mudblazer namespace so that most of the components we can access directly without fully qualified name. Okay. So namespace is simply Mudblazer. Next, let me go to official Mudblazer website because we need to follow few required steps. So this is the official Mudblazer website. Click on Docs and before going to docs, we have to go for get started. Okay. And here there are installation steps. For, we are doing manually, right? So we install the Mudblazer package that is done. We added namespace. And we have to add some CSS file references. Okay. So let's add these. Okay. Copy them. And we have one and only index.html page in the ww root folder. Okay, open that file and add the CSS reference link. And now let's remove the bootstrap and this app.css. Okay. Just comment out them. Next, we need to add a Script tag also copy this. So just above the closing body tag, add it. And we need to register this service, Smart Blazer service. So copy this and go to program.cs file. Okay, let's add it here. Okay. And now let's run the application once again. Okay, and we can see some UI is disturbed because we have removed the CSS file, right? Now let's remove this entire existing view and let's just add a Mudblazer menu bar. Okay, so to do that, let's go to main layout dot razor file now in this file let me add my own design content so first thing we have to add few mud blazer components like mud theme provider mud dialog provider and mud snack bar theme provider to update the theme mud dialog provider if you use anywhere any pop-up then this need to be added in our entire application so it is better to Register them at the root. Okay, these three things. Okay, so root means I can register them at my layout component. Okay, add it here. Okay, now I want to get rid of this content. So for that, I will design using mud components. Okay, so I can use layout to add a layout. I can use mud layout. Okay. So inside of the mud layout, I want to add a nav bar. Okay, for that, let me go to the mud blazer components, go to docs components, and from here I can copy the app bar. Okay, this kind of UI I want. So let me copy this. Okay. and add here i don't want any existing properties let me remove them and also remove this inner content okay i just want simple navigation bar menu bar okay next here inside of the article elements we are rendering our body tag right body attribute which means 
page level components gets rendered here. Page level components are nothing but you go to the pages, we have components right? counter, fetch, index. So all this component data is replaced here using the razor syntax at the red body. So to render that body, I am going to add a mud blazer component like mud container. Okay. Mud main container. Okay. So inside of this, copy this body tag. Okay. Now let me re remove the existing HTML content. Save everything. Okay, run the application. See here. Now it is our mud blazer menu component. Okay. So in the next video, we are going to create a API application because blazer WebAssembly is a client side, right? It required APIs to display the content, dynamic content. So in the next video, we are going to create a .NET 7 web API application. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like the video, please do support by subscribing to the channel. And also please don't forget to like and share the video. Soon we are going to meet with new content. Until then, signing off.